All right, folks, what we have here is a Hyundai Elantra. This is a 2017 model. Has a, uh, a flashing battery light every once in a while. Doesn't happen all the time. But on this car, you know, it had some troubles going through water and stuff. So it's got a brand new alternator. The battery is only about a year and a half old. And the only thing that's left, two things that's left that has to do with the charging system is there is a battery sensor that's attached to a negative battery cable, okay, which is located right there with a little plug. And the other item would be the computer itself. All right, it's intermittent, it is charging, okay, so it's not killing the battery or anything, but every once in a while, when you're driving, when you're making the turn maybe, I'm not sure, but the, uh, the battery light would just flash on for a little bit and flash off. All right. So we are going to go with the battery sensor. This is the one that we got. That's the model number. These things usually go for about $188 at the dealership. This one was um, bought on eBay. All right. Still a Hyundai part. I guess it's imported. But it was a lot cheaper. Probably about $80. And then you got the shipping and stuff like that. So to take it off, basically, is just a 10 millimeter bolt here. There's a plug. You just squeeze the tab and you pull it out. And then there's a 12 millimeter bolt in the back that takes it off the uh, the body. All right, so it should be pretty simple. Let's do that. All right, the hardest part is gonna be getting that 12 millimeter bolt in the back. So let's take the battery terminal off first. 10 millimeter out of the way okay then there's a little clip I'll get that little bugger later this clip over here so you can push it on the side here the hard one to get to yeah that's a tough one to get to I'm gonna have to figure this one out let's see if you can flip it this way a little bit See if we can look at it. See if there's a different way, maybe with a little tiny screwdriver. Maybe a little tiny screwdriver will be able to get that little tab off over here. Not much room to play with here. That's for sure. Okay. Yeah, gotta push that little tab in there. Then you're able to swing it up and out of the way okay now the other harder part is that little 12 millimeter bolt back there you could use a open end to kind of like crack it a little bit ah, there you go once you get it cracked open then the tough part is to swing the rest of it I use a swivel I think on such an angle, it's going to be a little rough to use a swivel. So let's let's try that. Just try not to get this battery cable to uh, touch anything while you're playing around. Yeah, can't get a swivel in there. So we're going to try a uh, let's try a ratcheting wrench. Right, let me go get a ratcheting wrench. All right, let's go with a 12 millimeter ratcheting wrench. Let's try to get in there. If you can get a little bite on it, I'll be able to spin it off. It is loose, it's already cracked loose already. It's just in a bad spot. Very bad spot. Now let's try a shorty all right 12 millimeter shorty on a quarter inch drive with a flex head that's the key all right there it is let's crank it all the way out I don't want to lose the bolt, so 
just gonna hang in there. Seems to be a long bolt. It's also about 30 degrees out here today. So, trying to do this. Almost out. How long is this bolt, people? How long is this bolt? You only have so much room that you can play with too in here. Get a little screwdriver. Push up against it because I see there's a little harness touching over there. So I'm just gonna push up against here a little bit. Hold on to that bolt. Here it is. I'm gonna hold it together like this. Voila. There is the bolt. There is the little culprit. All right. We're changing it because we're going to guess that all that corrosion right there that you see is most likely the problem that you give the on and off type of light. You see the little rust? Okay. So I'm going to change it. We've got a new one right here. We're going to go in reverse. Now we're going to install this little bad boy. Don't forget we got to line it up with the tab. And set that up. And then we're going to lock it in. Let's, let's do that. Alright folks. I know it's a superseded number from one model to a, another. Okay. It's off by a digit. Because that's what it's superseded to according to Hyundai. So I wonder what the superseded was. Everything else here looks the same. The plug is the same. But if you notice, the uh, the eyelet at the end is the difference. You see it's got a little tab over here at the 9 o'clock position. Going this way. And the tab is now at the 12 o'clock position. So on the car, this would go into a little hole or a little slot right below the bolt. So it will kind of like direct this cable to go straight up. If you were to take this new cable and put it in that slot like this, it now shortens the cable to reach to the battery because you have to reach to the battery this way. So that's the only thing I can think of. Maybe that's why it was a little cheaper on eBay, but it was the same part number and it was in a sealed box so maybe that is the new number unless that's the older model or they're just getting rid of you know one older set to make it all the same but anyway what we're going to do here is we're going to bend this little tab out make it flat and i'm going to put the bolt on there with a lock washer the lock washer will get a nice little bite into the metal and it's going to go in straight up just like that okay that way the cable will reach all right, that's what we're going to do. It is now dark out, midnight auto. Let's do it. Alrighty, you can see the lock washer. You can see the head of the bolt. There's the cable sitting right there. Okay, you think it's easy getting in there? It is not, because remember, you got this harness over here leaning up against it. So, that's what's going to give a little problem for you to get this bolt in. Okay, other than that. Carter's drive ratchet. I'm going to crank it right in. And it should be no problem. Okay. Sorry for the midnight auto repair. Get stuck out real fast. Hopefully, it'll change soon.
another month or so. All right, so we're gonna, do, we're gonna crank it all the way in. All right, just to make sure that we have enough room. Okay, it's gonna come around here. Just before you lock it up, you wanna make sure that you have enough room that the wire is gonna plug in and it's gonna connect to the battery terminal. All right, so it's gonna have to go in just a little bit, almost at the 12 o'clock mark. Like the other tab had it at, remember? I told you, that tab. So this cable is going to have to go straight up at the 12 o'clock. We're going to crank it down. I'm going to get the little uh, ratchet and wrench to really give it a nice little crank. And then we're going to plug it in. I'm going to put the terminal on. All right, so let's do that. All right, so here we are. I don't know if you remember in the beginning of the video, I lost my little felt uh, washer there fell down through the side in order to get it all these years I never bought this tool that I felt it was kind of dumb but I went and I finally bought it and it came into use for the past couple months already between losing bolts and grabbing uh, this washer and one time I lost a little headlight bulb inside the headlight had to get it out alright so here we are we're down to the part where we're going to plug in this little connector for the sensor and then we're going to put the battery cable on okay this is already cleaned already that is new so I'm going to go and I'm going to plug this in here first and then we're going to connect the negative battery cable so let's plug it in now Make sure you hear that click. That, you, that way you know it's on. Now it's gonna go on to the battery. Make sure it's all the way down. And it's locked in place. There you go. All right. Make sure nothing's binding, touching, or anything like that. And we are good to go. Okay. Like I said, if you look closely, I got the cable at the 12 o'clock position. Let me take off this tripod here. Okay. Facing straight up like the other one would have been. And that's a little slot that the tab would have been in. But now the tab is pointing over there towards 9 o'clock. So you're fine. Goes up and around to the terminal, and we are good to go. All right. Like I said, the original problem with this one is every once in a while I have a little battery light flash, but it's charging. It's fine. So we know the alternator is new. We know the battery is new. It's good. So what the only thing left is this battery sensor, okay, which senses the rate of the battery. It'll tell the alternator how much to recharge it back up. Other than that. It's the computer that controls it. All right. So that's it. That's what we did for today. And you know what? Let's, let's start up and check the charging rate again. Why not? We can do that. Let's go start it up. All right. Hooked up the meter. Let's go start it up. Take off the tripod, right to the meter. It's showing you at 14 and a half, which is perfect. Right in the okay. All right, that's it. Like I said, it's an intermittent problem. We already know the battery was changed. We already know that the alternator was changed. The only thing left is that battery sensor off to the side there for the computer itself. Let me show, what, show you what the, uh, the old sensor looks like up close again. If you remember, let's see if I have it over here somewhere. There's a new part over here. Here it is here. Okay. 
we don't know if it's good or not. It's hard to really check. But it's either good or it's bad. It doesn't say anything about intermittent. But I definitely didn't like the signs of all the the rust and corrosion that's around it. You know what I mean? That was the only thing that I was a little worried about. You can see like something like I'm not sure if that's glue or that's something that's melted right over there. But yeah, a couple of things I didn't like about it. So for 80 bucks, we have to try it. Okay? Because you don't want the customer to get stuck. Alright, that's it. It's a battery sensor. Maybe Hyundai. And look at that. It's the same as a Kia. Alright. Thanks for watching people. Ciao!